Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some tips and tricks and secrets on how to make more money on YouTube. Also, of course, organizing around the apartment as per usual and also a grocery haul. But today's video is actually sponsored by Magic Links. And I'm so excited to finally partner with them and share with you all basically a great platform that has helped me tremendously with YouTube and Instagram and just influencing overall. So I hope that this video brings you some knowledge and help if you are up and coming influencing and just want to make more money on this platform. Because I know it could be tricky and hard, but Magic Links has helped me so much that I feel like it could also help you guys. So let's get started and share with you guys what is Magic Links. So Magic Links is a website that you can monetize certain links and put them in your description box, maybe a swipe up on Instagram, and you can get commission like that, a small commission out of every purchase made from the link. They work with over 5,000 brands, which is insane. And I've been lucky enough to be able to work with a couple brands, for example, Bed Bath & Beyond, Express, Boohoo, among many. Um, some that I use a lot is Target, Ulta, Sephora, basically like any common place that you shop at regularly you can monetize those links and upload them to your youtube or instagram like i mentioned and also a website or blog if you have that aside from being able to monetize those links magic links also offer obsessed with it which basically is a place that you can take an image or let's say a video and you can make all the links be in one specific place for someone to shop which is easier for the audience and also just easier for you as well for example if it's an instagram pose it could be a home related photo or an outfit photo you can provide all of the links for your viewer and you will be able to get a commission out of the purchases made out of those links. I have to admit, I've made a lot of money with Magic Links and it's all thanks to you guys, obviously. So first and foremost, I wanna say thank you so much for shopping from the links that I provide, either in the description box or a swipe up because they truly do mean a lot to me. I mean, aside from the commission, the performance, means a lot to me because i can go ahead and show what i can offer to the brand which is really great so thank you so much like i mentioned they have a performance page which can let you know the revenue and links that you have made throughout the month and in the long run you can actually screenshot and show this to certain brands if you want to pitch yourself magic links actually works with many brands like i mentioned so they are constantly looking for influencers to cast so if the links that you provide to your viewers are performing well you can potentially be casted to work with your dream brand i wanted to share a couple of the brands that they have here which is elf lululemon nasty gal misguided macy's revolve target adidas bed bath and beyond honestly love bed bath and beyond nordstrom shein asos among many now i want to show you guys the way that i personally create my links which is really easy i mean it's pretty easy to navigate on the app and also on their website um i actually have a little like widget i think is what you call it on my computer so whenever i go to like a certain website it automatically lets me know the percentage of commission that you can make for making a link let's say on target or sephora and then you can make that link really easy as you can tell right here or on the screen it's really easy to create those links and then on the app it's actually really easy as well so i'm just going to search dyson because i recently got one from bed bath and beyond and it automatically shows you the retailer rating which this one is 4.0 and the higher it is the more money you'll make so i'll go ahead and create a magic link just make sure that it's the actual item and you can just copy the link that way and then it has a favorites tab which you can favorite certain links if you want and then recent links you can either search on the top your recent links or a specific item if you're looking if you already created a magic link for it or if you're looking for a link that you use on your youtube video and you want to provide that link on instagram you can do it that way as well and just tap and the link is automatically copied so yeah i really love using magic links and i think it's a platform that i would recommend to any up-and-coming influencer i've honestly seen such a huge difference after using magic links and i've noticed that i've been able to work with many more brands after using them as well 
So I highly recommend for you guys to make a page and start linking everything. You do have to register for it and I think um, there are some requirements. So if you don't fulfill them just yet, maybe you aren't as active on social media, just keep on trying and I am sure you will be accepted to use those magic links. Now, before I move on to the rest of the vlog, I actually asked you guys on Instagram to send me some YouTube questions and also just admin work type of question. The sun is coming out. I feel like I want to make a totally separate video on that because there's some really good ones here. So leave me some questions in the description box and I can answer them in a like how I started on YouTube type of video or some tips and tricks on how to grow your YouTube. Just leave me some questions in the comments below. But some of the most frequently asked questions here is what camera do I use? So when I started on YouTube, I started using like a regular Canon power shot. That was my first first camera ever and I actually have it somewhere. Um, my second one that I used for like how many years now? Eight years or nine. It was the Canon T5i. That one was my ride and die. I still have it and it still works. But I wanted to upgrade after nine, ten years here on YouTube to the Canon 80D. So that's the one that I have at the moment, like my big professional one. The one that I'm vlogging on right now, which is my vlogging camera, is the Canon G7X. So I'll be linking them all down below for you guys using magic links in case you guys want to use those and maybe upgrade your gear. I highly recommend them. The one that I would recommend the most if you're starting, it would be the Canon T5i. Or if you want an all compact kind of camera, it would be the Canon G7X which is the one that I'm recording right now. The Canon 80D is an investment and it's really bulky if you want to vlog, I wouldn't recommend that, but if you want to create good quality content, that one is A+. Um, what program do you use to edit your videos? I used to use all my YouTube career iMovie, which I loved. I loved iMovie because it was really easy and I actually learned how to edit myself by watching YouTube videos how ironic, but it taught me a lot. So honestly, just search how to edit on iMovie. But now I recently upgraded to Final Cut Pro because apparently it's the best of the best. It was $300 and I'm still playing around with it. Not fully, not fully comfortable, but I do see that it's better than iMovie. Another commonly asked question, which I'll get to more in depth on the next video, like I mentioned. So if you have any more questions about it, leave them in the comments below. But it is, how do you get partnerships? So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I have been lucky enough to work with many brands with them, which has been a great way to connect with different brands. But most partnerships do come to my inbox and then my manager manages all of them individually. So that is the most commonly way that I do get partnerships. We do pitch to certain brands, but most are like incoming inbox partnerships. But anyways, the sun is truly glorious right now. So I'm just going to move on to the rest of the vlog. I hope that all of these tips helped you guys some way or the other. Make sure to check magic links. I'll link them in the description box. They are amazing and they have been amazing to work with as well. Yeah, yesterday we went grocery shopping to Trader Joe's, so I'm going to include those clips up next. All right, so this is everything we got at Trader Joe's this time around. I know it's a lot of food. It normally lasts like three weeks, almost a month sometimes for certain things. Obviously others do run quicker. Starting with the greens, we got some kale here, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, some spinach, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. Well, these are great tomatoes actually because I wanna make the famous feta pasta that's going around on TikTok. Some fresh basil, iceberg lettuce, regular lettuce, oranges. I've been on an orange cake lately or I feel like supermarkets just have that right now. I also got some fresh roses at Trader Joe's. They have the best roses and eucalyptus for so cheap. These are just $3.99. $3.99 as you can see right there. I get asked all the time where my eucalyptus is from. It's usually from a local flower shop or Trader Joe's, if not Whole Foods also carries them sometimes. Moving on, we have some bananas, avocado, garlic, blueberries, lemon, ghee oil. This is like a snack. So fig little cereal bars, some almond tortilla flour. Back here, I just have some frozen favorites. So chicken gyoza, chicken 
dumplings. These have been my favorite lately, I shared recently. And also this tomato pizza, I got two of those because honestly it's like a quick, easy snack. Sliced almond, mixed flaxseed for Eric. This, um, this is Eric's coffee at the moment. We have some mozzarella, shredded cheese because I wanna make my pau de queijo. These little Italian crackers that are my favorite. And we have a bunch of cheese because I want to make a cheese board later today. Um, this is brie, which is like almost melted. Feta cheese. I got three of these in case I like that pasta to make more. This is another brie. Baby bell cheese that I like to have in the morning sometimes. Swiss cheese is another favorite. Parmesan cheese and manchego cheese. We got some butter, regular and salted. Bacon and some salami here for the cheese board. Almond milk, two of those. Um, heavy whipping cream, almond butter, mayo, ketchup, and two extra virgin olive oil because I guess we didn't notice that we got one each. And this milk in case I bake later. So I also got baking powder and baking soda so that's everything on this side also got two cartons of eggs and on this side we have all of our meats so chicken um i believe this is salmon steak ground beef and ground chicken because i want to make some meatballs and then these are just some regular chips that we like to get these corn chips dippers are amazing they taste like fritos and these have also been our favorite as of lately. Yeah, that's pretty much our Trader Joe's haul. Now to put everything away. I got these fridge organizers and now that we got fresh produce, I want to organize the fridge from top to bottom. So let's get to it. Eric is currently cooking, but I wanted to show you guys the before I start organizing the fridge. So we have the freezer here and then we have the fridge i feel like this is such a small refrigerator but we make it work so hopefully the organizers definitely help i already use these um but i want to like scrub everything So I am currently struggling <laughs> trying to peel this off and I saw a TikTok where they just use a blow dryer so let's try that. That was insane. 27 hours later, here is the after. I feel like it's not that big of a difference. It definitely does look a lot more organized now that I look at it from this angle, especially with the fridge organizers. So these are all from Home Goods. You can find it at Home Goods, CJ Maxx, HomeSense, Marshalls. But yeah, I really like these, especially the ones that pull like that because you just basically get everything you need. And then right here we have the lettuce, spinach, um, more greens right here, onion my water filter which is the brita water filter i'll link it in the description box this is my cilantro i've shared this hack before but you basically just put it in water and it lasts so much longer a lot of you guys already know this trick almond milk tomatoes this is also from home goods um yogurt lime and lemon eggs salami on top for a cheese board this one is all um cheese which i love 
Uh, we have some blueberries here. Basically, this one was like low-key empty. So we have a lot more space. And then behind, there's a lot more space as well. Now for the door, I feel like it looks exactly the same. But honestly, I don't know. How else can I organize this? Because we honestly just keep whatever we need and whatever we use. So it's not like aesthetically pleasing when you have just one of each, you know? As to for the freezer, we have our meats here, which I have heard, I think, that you're not supposed to keep meat on the door. But our freezer is so, so tiny. So yeah, this is definitely not organized. And we're just gonna keep it like that for now. All right, back to real time now. I am now going to be cleaning the bedroom because I did an unboxing and I have all of these products right here and my tripod and my baby. Oh my God, now that I think about it, I actually didn't show you my new daughter. Um, I did an unboxing on Instagram if you guys want to check that out, but this is my new baby, the YSL Sunset something. I don't really know the name, but that's what it looks like. It is beautiful. This is what she looks like. Truly, truly perfect. It's like me in a bag, I swear. It has gold hardware and yeah, it's really spacious as well. So I am obsessed with it. I just haven't worn it anywhere because where am I going to wear it to, you know? But yeah, I'm going to put all of this away now, so... Have a quick apartment update i recently went to home goods and i finally found some wall art for the living room so i don't know if i mentioned to you guys but there was a specific wall art that i saw like early november and i never saw it again i fell in love when i saw it in stores but they only had one and it was broken so obviously i didn't get it and then i saw it again and i've been seeing it all over instagram and i was like oh my god hopefully they're bringing it back to home goods and they did i was actually going to diy it but thank god i didn't have to do all that i found one here at yonkers and then i found the second one in queens so let me show you guys the artwork and here it is we have it behind the couch because we're going to be installing it hopefully in the next couple of days if not today but you know i have to like give eric a break sometimes so this was 150 each this one was 150 but the one in the back has like a small little defect which is right here as you can tell you could barely see it but it has like a small crack right there and I am the queen of asking for discounts at Home Goods, TJ Maxx. If I see a small little defect, I'm like, oh, hey, you guys only have this one and it's broken. Can I get a discount? And they always give me a discount. So this one turned out to be 120 and then this one was the original 150 prize. But that's what it looks like. I feel like it's going to look so much better on display so i can't wait to finally have some wall art that is literally the last thing we needed for the living room and after that it's going to be complete but i need to organize i need to pick up this living room because i was filming some nail content and i have my ipad here just so many different things and as per usual you guessed it this room is somewhat of a mess not too crazy but definitely need some help. Before I actually start cleaning the office, I wanna show you the new hamper I found as well at Home Goods in Queens. This was such a good find. It's like the perfect size for this particular corner. I've been looking for a hamper, this material and this shape. So it has two sides and it was like $25. But yeah, let's get to cleaning also 
how pretty are my Valentine's Day roses. They're still alive. All right, that honestly feels so much better already. I picked up around the office and also the living room and I actually have some packages downstairs so I'm going to pick them up and unbox them with you guys. Whew, I'm tired. Oh, it's, it's hair stuff. But I really wanted the L'Oreal foundation, the new powder infallible one. I've been wanting to buy it at Target and it's like sold out everywhere. So I feel like I probably got the PR package for it and my neighbor that has been stealing packages from me most likely kept it because I'm still getting packages at my old apartment and one of my neighbors I know for a fact is like stealing some of them. So it is what it is. By the way, the reason why I'm saying that is because I used to get so many packages at my old apartment and at first she was saving them for me and then all of a sudden she just stopped responding to my messages and the last time i picked up boxes from her they were all open like all of them were opened so i don't know it is what it is i got all of my bike stuff because your girl has a bike now eric got a bike for me for valentine's day technically my birthday gift um and i'm so excited i got a helmet a lock and a little um bell situation this is not the material i thought it was going to be at all this is like super cheap so i don't i think i might return it first of all let's see if this even fits but the bike is currently in the bike storage room downstairs Huge though. If I fall, God forbid, but if I fall, this would like fly right out. Wow, the sunset is so pretty. Oh my god. It should be fitting like that. Like, why is this so loose? See, like, I if I fall, this is like gonna go right back with it. This is not the helmet for me. So, long story short, we're returning this helmet. Jesus. But anyways, I think I'm going to end today's vlog here. I'll link my bike situations down below. These are all from Amazon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Make sure to check magic links in case you guys want to monetize your platforms. And until next time, bye.